And we have both players in. We'll get started in game one. Lucas was a bit worried about lag, but it does look like his, his ping is alright just now. with the pressure at the start of this game. He's continuing the attack on Scrim and he pops that up and over him. Flokez will open the scoring. Gets a great control and then just blazes it over the top of Scrim. 4.20 left on the clock. Flokez faking that diagonal kickoff as we've seen him do. Flokez attempting to get a nice touch around Scrim, doesn't quite manage it. 50-50 goes neutral onto the wall. Scrim now, dribbling in. Only as far as Flokez. Flokez now being very patient on that. Takes a shot, but Scrim is ready for it. Scrim nearly gets that flip over Flokez, but they're just managing to shadow each other really well in these positions. Flokez won't be able to drop down on that, but he might be able to get the boost. I think he got the boost, but he did get demoed, which is going to leave Scrim with nothing for now. He's got the corner boost, but Flokez will be back in, and he gets the revenge demo. And he's in a position to just push this one home, but he puts it wide. I think he maybe knew that Scrim was coming in on it, so he tried to push it to the far side. And Scrim gets around Flokez, but can't push it center. He's going to have time to get... This controlled on defense. A quick look behind him to see where his opponent was. And Scrim gets it past Flokez. That could go all the way. Can't squeeze it in on the post though. Lucas gets around the side of that. He will get the clear finally to ease up the pressure on himself. Scrim manages to block the forward ball. Takes possession back and he's going to try and get a dribble on Flokez here. He gets the pop up in the air. Flokez can't reach it. It's in under the crossbar. Scrim ties up the game. A minute 45 left. Lucas remaining incredibly patient, trying to draw Scrim out. Same as what he did against Moist. And it worked out well for him. Scrim pops that one up and it's all the way to the far side and in. I'm not sure if he got a bump on Flo as he was coming in on the attack here. Gets it popped into the air. He does bump Flo out the way, but I don't think Flo was quite reaching that. Scrim with the lead as we go into the last minute and he's extending that lead to two goals. 
minute 10 left in game one of this best of five and it's Scrim that's looking to take this one and with a goal off kickoff right here he will extend his lead to three goals has been very patient again I feel like I keep on saying it but that's exactly what he's doing a scrim managing to take a shot on an open goal from far there Flokez just doesn't have the time to get behind that Flokez again faking these diagonal kickoffs trying to get possession out of it and it is working out Scrim's got himself in a bit of a dangerous position there. He gets the touch, but Flokez is there to take advantage of it. Unfortunately there for Scrim, he tried to follow it down onto the floor and then catch it as he landed, but he couldn't get a powerful enough hit to send it to the side. A couple of bumps between the players, but it was Flokez that came out with a boost. And Scrim forced to retreat back for his corner, but he will be on the attack now. Played softly into the middle by Flokez, cleared up quickly by Scrim. And in the last 10 seconds, he's going to extend his lead to four goals. He probably didn't have to. Four goals to catch up now is pretty impossible for Flokez, bar some kind of miracle. And as the clock hits zero, we are confirmed that Scrim will take game number one. Straight into game two. Focus with a flick, it's going to go off to the side. players taking their time here. Lucas just trying to draw Scrim out, but Scrim will not be drawn out. But he could be making his position worse as Flokez just sends it to the side. Scrim perhaps waiting just too long to attack that and it's exactly what Flokez wanted. Patience from both these players is great and it's paying off for Scrim now as he ties up the game. They're really not rushing to hit these balls. Lokez with the pop up, but Scrim's there. Lokez is going to pop that out, but it's going to fall to Scrim, but Flokez gets up on top of it. Try and control this round. Push it straight through Scrim. And both these players seeming very evenly matched in this game. But 
But Scrim managing to get it over Flokez there to send it home. Put himself into the lead. Good save there from Flokez. Powerful shot in from Scrim, but perhaps going straight to the keeper. Gets the flick up in the air, but Flokez is ready to block it. Scrim gets it over him again, and this is going to fall all the way into the bl or blue goal, but it bounces off the crossbar, and Scrim's there to convert it as it bounces to the ground. Chooses to keep this on the wall. It's slightly more difficult to defend as it's coming over the top of you like that from Scrim, but he does well. And Scrim with the, the demo on Flokez, he's going to have a lot of space here to work this one out. But Flokez is not giving him the time. He seems to be now. He's just trying to shadow Scrim and get in the way of his dribble, and he does well. Flokez tries to push it down the other end, but misses out, and Scrim just turns it round and increases his lead to three goals off the misplay of Flokez. Flokez with the shot past Scrim there. Not much he can do about it. And the whoops in chat. He knows he he played that into the wrong place for him to keep pushing it. Just let Flokez take the shot straight past him. But with the advantage of kickoff here, he could redeem, redeem himself quickly, but Flokez does well. And the long shot now. Scrim. Ready for the save. Flokez tries to push it in again. Can't quite reach it. It's going to fall for Flokez and he manages to get the dunk just over Scrim. Scrim almost getting the save, the clear there. But Flokez doing well to get on top. Scrim to take out Flokez's boost in the corner there and he's going to be left with nothing. Scrims just just let Flokez follow up onto that mid boost there. He could have taken advantage of the boost star but he misses out and he gets bumped out by Flokez for his trouble. This one's going to bounce. Looking dangerous towards the blue goal. Flokez is up. And 45 seconds left. Flokez needs to get a goal back in this game. Tries to lift it up over Scrim. It's not high enough to trouble him. And Scrim trying to flick that onto himself to dribble. Gets the demo on Flokez and he might be able to control this and send the center. Flokez is there to defend with a great save. And now this could be Flokez's opportunity to push this one forward. Scrim manages to get the boost from him though. That's going to shut down his attacking momentum here. Flokez just trying to play the block off Scrim. And Scrim, he will just let the clock run down. There's not much he needs to do with the goal lead. He will follow us on. Flokez gets the save. If he can keep this in the air, he could tie up this game. He manages to hold it on himself. He's carrying. He gets the flick and that's all the way. Great zero second play by Flokez to tie up the game. And he just, he nearly lost it there. The ball was nearly off the nose of his car. But he boosts underneath it and manages to get the flick. Very well done by Flokez to keep himself alive in this. As this goes onto the wall, this could be an opportunity for Flokez. He waits to control it on the floor and scrims on the backboard. He might not be able to get it. He does. Pushes it out to the corner. Flokez will be on top of the boost. 
and he will keep trying to push this. Scrim does get a touch. He's low on boost, and it's Flokez that's around grabbing everything. He misses that mid boost, though. That's going to allow Scrim to hold a midfield position and maybe attack this, but he is choosing to retreat. And Flokez, with his usual patience, tries to get the flick on Scrim, but well positioned once again. And Flokez just trying to play safe now. Into his own end, pinches between the players. Sends out to the side. And Scrim going to take advantage of this ball out by Blokez. And he manages it. Pushes it all the way. A minute of overtime gone. And Scrim will take game number two. And it's all to do for Blokez now. Scrim has got two games. And he's put himself on championship point here. One more win from Scrim will give him the victory today. Flokez now needs the reverse sweep. But it is very possible. We've seen it happen many times before. three now Scrim looking to take the win Flokez looking to keep himself alive in the series it's an early shot from Scrim it's just over the crossbar Flokez trying to keep control of it. He manages as well. Scrim is back to defend it. Flokez is going to come out with a boost. He should be able to get around to defend this. Without much hassle from Scrim. But Scrim is chasing it up. Put himself in an advanced position. And Flokez might be able to take advantage of it. And he does to get the first goal on the board. Scrim, what a saving himself in the chat. But I think it was less about the save than more about the position. Again, Flokez playing the possession off the kickoff. He's holding himself back and he's he's with full boost. Ready to dribble on Scrim. Tries to get it past him. Scrim. Powerful save. Sends it into the blue end and he's got a chance of his own here and he takes it to tie up the game. And a minute gone. Tied up one to one. It's Scrim with the 2-0 lead in the series. Scrim sending that one over the blue net, not managing to push it in. Flokez tries to send that one into the left corner. Scrim defends well. Now he pops this one forward. I think it's off the post. It is. It's going to bounce out. It's going to drop down nice and central. But Flokez gets himself in the air to push it to the side. I think Scrim was very aware there that it was a easy save from Flokez. So he didn't even bother challenging it. But he will challenge this one. He sends it goalward. Too soft to trouble Flokez. Once again... Patience is coming into this, and it's barred down, but it's not going to go in. Scrim managing to get it past. Going to bounce up on the blue back wall. Lokez will follow this one down. Try to dribble this on Scrim. He gets the mid boost while he's at it, and he gets one touch round. Tried to take it to the right and then to the left, but Scrim did well to hold his position and stop it coming through him. Flokez trying to get it around Scrim again. Just over two minutes to go now. 
That's going to bounce off the post. Flokez misses that. It could be a chance for Scrim to shoot. He does. And Flokez can't quite get behind it. He was up and he got the touch on the save, but it just sent it into the net. He couldn't get it off to the side. Scrim giving Flokez the space to play there, but it's going to work out for Scrim here as Flokez accidentally great passing himself in the chat there, and he does indeed accidentally passes this one down off the wall right into the path of Scrim to shoot forward, and Scrim will increase his goal lead to two as we enter the last two minutes. Now Scrim has a minute and 45 seconds to hold this lead and he will take the victory today. And Scrim getting a good touch and he knows that's going in. Tries to power slide and maybe get a few style points at the end but it's not needed. 4-1 is the score now. And only 90 seconds left. For Flokez to get three goals back, one goal every 30 seconds is very possible. But he needs to start working at it now and not allow Scrim to increase his lead. Flokez plays this one down. This could fall to Scrim to push forward, and it does. Flokez tries to block him, but can't quite manage. And Scrim's just going to send that one center. He's got a four-goal lead now. And less than a minute left. 15 seconds for a goal. 15 seconds. A, a goal every 15 seconds is what Flokez needs. And that is a really tall order to fill. Him manages to get the control in his own goal line. And it's just a matter of running the clock down now for him. <laughs> and Scrim may be faking the pop there. Flokez goes flying over him. And five goals the difference now. It is all but impossible for Flokez to get himself back in this. And it's just a matter of this clock hitting zero now. And Scrim will take the 3-0 win in the series. And along with 500 league points for the winter series, he will go away today with five pounds for his Steam wallet to buy some keys or whatever he wants to buy. And he tries to get the rebound shot off the wall. Didn't have the best angle on that, but he did nearly have it. And Scrim will take game three and he will take the best of five. And Scrim will be your winter series winner this week. The first time we have had a winner that isn't moist, but well played to everyone who took part in the competition today. We will be back next week with a slightly larger bracket that will increase from 16 players up to 32 to accommodate some more people joining. I hope to see you guys there. You can get on the website. There is a quick sign up for all players who have been involved before. And there is a complete new player sign up for those who are new to Diamond League. But you can get on the website diamondleague.co.uk and get signed up for all our events there. I'm going to be talking to the winner in just a second to get his prize and stuff sorted out. But that is going to be it for our broadcast this evening. Uh, we have no 2v2 this Wednesday for the first time as our... Our season finished on the Wednesday just previously and we will have our next season coming up in January or February in the new year. But we will be back on Sunday night with our 3v3 tournament. We might have something coming up midweek to replace the 2v2s. I'm going to be working on something with a couple of guys. Hopefully get a few more people involved in the stream so we can make something work a bit better for Diamond League. But um, yeah, keep in touch on the Discord channel and we'll keep you updated with everything that's happening there. The website will be updated later with the new results of the leaderboard and I will get the sign up for next week's 1v1 tournament sorted out in the next half hour to an hour so if you pop online in about an hour's time you should be able to sign up for next week's 1v1 tournament but again thank you everyone for joining us I've been Peasy Cheese 
And this is Diamond League, and we'll see you guys another time. Bye-bye.